In mathematics, especially functional analysis, a Banach algebra, named after Stefan Banach, is an associative algebra A over the real or complex numbers or over a non-Archimedean complete normed field that at the same time is also a Banach space, i.e. a normed space and complete in the metric induced by the norm. The norm is required to satisfy x y element of X Y X Y display style for all X Y in a X Y L E Q X Y this ensures that the multiplication operation is continuous a Banach algebra is called unital if it has an identity element for the multiplication whose norm is 1 and commutative if its multiplication is commutative any Banach algebra A display styler whether it has an identity element or not can be embedded isometrically into a unital Banach algebra A E display styler underscore E so as to form a closed ideal of A E display styler underscore E Often one assumes a priori that the algebra under consideration is unital, for one can develop much of the theory by considering A E and then applying the outcome in the original algebra. However, this is not the case all the time. For example, one cannot define all the trigonometric functions in a Banach algebra without identity. The theory of real Banach algebras can be very different from the theory of complex Banach algebras. For example, the spectrum of an element of a non-trivial complex Banach algebra can never be empty, whereas in a real Banach algebra it could be empty for some elements. Banach algebras can also be defined over fields of p-adic numbers. This is part of p-adic analysis. Topic. Examples The prototypical example of a Banach algebra is C 0 x the space of complex valued continuous functions on a locally compact Hausdorff space that vanish at infinity. C 0 X display style c underscore zero x is unital if and only if x is compact. The complex conjugation being an involution c zero x display style c underscore zero x is in fact a c asterisk algebra. More generally, every C asterisk algebra is a Banach algebra. The set of real or complex numbers is a Banach algebra with norm given by the absolute value. The set of all real or complex n by n matrices becomes a unital Banach algebra if we equip it with a sub-multiplicative matrix norm. Take the Banach space R n or C n with norm x. topic max she and define multiplication component wise x1 xn y1 yn x1 y1 xn yn the quaternions form a four dimensional real banach algebra with the norm being given by the absolute value of quaternions the algebra of all bounded real or complex valued functions defined on some set with pointwise multiplication and the supremum norm is a unital Banach algebra. The algebra of all bounded continuous real or complex valued functions on some locally compact space again with pointwise operations and supremum norm is a Banach algebra. 
The algebra of all continuous linear operators on a Banach space E with functional composition as multiplication and the operator norm as norm is a unital Banach algebra. The set of all compact operators on E is a Banach algebra and closed ideal. It is without identity if dim E equals infinity. If G is a locally compact Hausdorff topological group and mu its Haar measure, then the Banach space L1 G of all mu integrable functions on G becomes a Banach algebra under the convolution x y G equals x h y h minus one gram d mu h for x y in L1 G. Uniform algebra, a Banach algebra that is a subalgebra of the complex algebra C X with the supremum norm and that contains the constants and separates the points of X which must be a compact Hausdorff space. Natural Banach function algebra, a uniform algebra all of whose characters are evaluations at points of X C** algebra, a Banach algebra that is a closed asterisk subalgebra of the algebra of bounded operators on some Hilbert space. Measure algebra, a Banach algebra consisting of all radon measures on some locally compact group, where the product of two measures is given by convolution of measures. Counterexamples. <coughs> <coughs> The algebra of the quaternions H display style math bound H is not a complex Banach algebra for any norm on H display style math bound H for if A display style math call A is a complex Banach algebra that is also a division algebra then approximately equals c display style mathcal a approx math bound c gelfand mazur theorem since if lambda element of c display style lambda in math bound c is a point in the non empty spectrum sigma a c Display style sigma a subset math bound C of a element of a display style in math call a a minus lambda one display style lambda one is not invertible, hence a minus Lambda one equals zero. Display style at lambda one equals zero. Since a display style math call a is a division algebra, whence a equals lambda one display style a equals lambda one which also proves the gelfand mazur theorem topic <laughs> properties several elementary functions which are defined via power series may be defined in any unital banach algebra examples include the exponential function and the trigonometric functions and more generally any entire function in particular, the exponential map can be used to define abstract index groups. The formula for the geometric series remains valid in general unital Banach algebras. The binomial theorem also holds for two commuting elements of a Banach algebra. The set of invertible elements in any unital Banach algebra is an open set, and the inversion operation on this set is continuous, and hence is a homeomorphism so that it forms a topological group under multiplication. If a Banach algebra has unit 1, then 1 cannot be a commutator, i.e. x y minus y x does not equal 1 
Display style x y y x n e q math b f one for any x y element of A. This is because x y and y x have the same spectrum except possibly zero. The various algebras of functions given in the examples above have very different properties from standard examples of algebras such as the reals. For example. Every real Banach algebra which is a division algebra is isomorphic to the reals, the complexes, or the quaternions. Hence, the only complex Banach algebra which is a division algebra is the complexes. This is known as the gelfand mazur theorem. Every unital real Banach algebra with no zero divisors, and in which every principal ideal is closed, is isomorphic to the reals, the complexes, or the quaternions. Every commutative real unital noetherian Banach algebra with no zero divisors is isomorphic to the real or complex numbers. Every commutative real unital noetherian Banach algebra possibly having zero divisors is finite dimensional. Permanently singular elements in Banach algebras are topological divisors of zero, i.e., considering extensions B of Banach algebras are some elements that are singular in the given algebra A have a multiplicative inverse element in a Banach algebra extension B topological divisors of zero in A are permanently singular in all Banach extension B of A. Spectral theory Unital Banach algebras over the complex field provide a general setting to develop spectral theory. The spectrum of an element x element of A, denoted by sigma x, sigma x consists of all those complex scalars lambda such that x minus lambda 1 is not invertible in a the spectrum of any element x is a closed subset of the closed disk in c with radius x and center 0 and thus is compact moreover the spectrum sigma x display style sigma x of an element x is non empty and satisfies the spectral radius formula Sub lambda lambda element of sigma x equals lim n infinity x n one n Display style sup lambda lambda in sigma x equals lim underscore n to inf t x caret n caret one n. Given x element of A, the holomorphic functional calculus allows to define f x element of A for any function f holomorphic in a neighborhood of sigma x. Display style sigma x. Furthermore, the spectral mapping theorem holds sigma f x equals f sigma x display style sigma f x equals f sigma x when the Banach algebra A is the algebra L x of bounded linear operators on a complex Banach space X, e.g., the algebra of square matrices, the notion of the spectrum in A coincides with the usual one in the operator theory. For f element of C x with a compact Hausdorff space X, one sees that sigma f equals f t T element of x display style sigma f equals f t t in x. The norm of a normal element x of a C asterisk algebra coincides with its spectral radius. This generalizes an analogous fact for normal operators. Let a be a complex unital Banach algebra in which every non-zero element x is invertible, a division algebra. For every a element of A, there is lambda element of C such that 
a minus lambda 1 is not invertible because the spectrum of a is not empty hence a equals lambda 1 this algebra a is naturally isomorphic to c the complex case of the gelfand mazur theorem equals topic ideals and characters equals let a be a unital commutative Banach algebra over C since A is then a commutative ring with unit. Every non invertible element of A belongs to some maximal ideal of A since a maximal ideal M in A is closed A M is a Banach algebra that is a field, and it follows from the gelfand mazur theorem that there is a bijection between the set of all maximal ideals of A and the set delta A of all nonzero homomorphisms from A to C. The set delta A is called the structure space or character space of A, and its members characters. A character chi is a linear functional on a which is at the same time multiplicative chi ab. Topic chi a chi b and satisfies chi one. One. Every character is automatically continuous from A to C since the kernel of a character is a maximal ideal which is closed. Moreover, the norm i.e. operator norm of a character is 1. Equipped with the topology of pointwise convergence on A i.e. the topology induced by the weak asterisk topology of A, the character space delta A is a Hausdorff compact space. For any x element of A, sigma x equals sigma x Carrot display style sigma x equals sigma hat x where x carrot display style hat x is the Gelfand representation of x defined as follows x carrot display style hat x is the continuous function from delta a to c given by X carrot chi equals chi x display style hat x chi equals chi x the spectrum of x carrot display style hat x in the formula above, is the spectrum as element of the algebra C delta A of complex continuous functions on the compact space delta A. Explicitly, sigma x caret equals chi x chi element of delta. Display style sigma hat x equals chi x chi in delta a. As an algebra, a unital commutative Banach algebra is semi-simple, i.e., its Jacobson radical is zero if and only if its Gelfand representation has trivial kernel. An important example of such an algebra is a commutative C asterisk algebra. In fact, when A is a commutative unital C asterisk algebra, the Gelfand representation is then an isometric asterisk isomorphism between A and C delta A. Topic. See also. Operator algebra. Shilov boundary. Automatic continuity. Kaplinsky's conjecture Approximate identity Remarks Notes <laughs> 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 <laughs>